Aloha, everybody, and welcome to the Untitled Tech Show. Yes, still. <laughs> it's still untitled because, well, it's only our second one. The first one was just testing. This one is just testing some more. It's like just testing, just testing, one, two, three. We're on the second test. Right? Anyway, I am uh, your host, Doc Rock, and this is my co-host. Bro, how's it going? Man, we got to come up with a name. Oh, no, you, you don't want to know some of the names that people gave me, so we're not going to use those. <laughs> I want to call you, you my mother, Jerry. No, 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 no. no. You're Jerry. Not. No. <laughs> God. What was the name of that movie? I forgot already. Oh, man. Jerry oh. Maguire. Jerry oh. Maguire. There you go. I was going to be like Terry something, but that's because Terry. of Tom Cruise. Oh. No. Anyway, the point of this show, besides us just sitting here and making trouble, <laughs> the point of this show is Jerry and I are tech guys. We've been tech guys for a long time. And we thought, man, there's tons of tech shows out there. Most of them are sort of related to current news and events. Yeah. But at least 10, 15 texts a week from people asking me questions. And then sometimes, if it's a really good one, I'll make a video and I'll post it to YouTube. Because I know that instead of, let's see, who asked me test questions? Tyson. Instead of Tyson not knowing the answer. There must be a lot of people that not know the you, answer. You know he's still going to come to you, though. Tyson, yeah, at least. because that's, okay. that's what he does. Um, another one is my boy Lenai. Lenai will call and ask me crazy questions about his iCloud not syncing or whatever. Oh, so Good we, luck troubleshooting that, by the way. We thought, <laughs> all right, let's go back to doing what we used to do and do our tech show and, uh, you know. Help kinda, people out. Help it, people out. It's good. <laughs> help the community a bit. So, so the way this works, I will normally post... Uh, ahead of time that we're going to go live, you know, the day or the next day and give people a chance to ask their questions. Once we discover a real name for this thing, there will be an email or, you know, a Facebook page, Instagram, something where folks will be able to sort of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Put in their communicate questions. With oh. Communicate with us. <laughs> Feedback. Go. Feedback. Whoa. Whoa. Well, you got it. You got it. English is difficult. Actually, turns out it is. <laughs> yeah. So once we do that, people will be able to, you know, ask their questions and get it to us that way. And for today, for instance, I posted on Face Space. I'm like, you know, send us some questions. We got a couple questions, so we'll go yeah. through those. And again, this is warm up. Right now we're kind of kicking the tires to see the equipment's all working. And then we're gonna go in there like two feet first. Just jump in. Yeah, right and it's maybe one day when we can't get a babysitter, Jerome will bring the kid, and there'll be a kid crying in the back. Hey, that's going to be awesome. I think she'd actually enjoy this. Right now, the, the kid crying so. in the back will be Topher in the next room, <laughs> who's kind of monitoring the stream. I think he's just... No, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> he, he's, he's monitoring his stream. Oh. <laughs> no. No. Okay, so how you been this week, Jerry? Oh, busy, but that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Lots of... People asking questions, as always. So, the life of a sysadmin, right? <laughs> sysadmin. Well, explain that to folks. What's a sysadmin? Pretty much, we're supposed to know the answer to everything, and people come up to us and ask us questions. Oh, so, so you're a wife. No, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's pretty much, you have this piece of technology, might not even pertain to what we do on a daily basis, and they'll ask you the questions, and they need the answer now. And if you don't know it, they wonder, well, what kind of sysadmin are you? So Because you don't know the answer. Yeah. But... Oftentimes you do. And if oh, you don't know, you'll go and figure it out. Oh, Google. Stack Exchange and Google. That's uh, the best thing. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm noticing that hmm? whatever I shared it, it didn't um, go where I thought it would go. Oh, no. But no, that's okay. <laughs> in the meantime, um, let's see. In the meantime, what was I going to say? I can't speak English because I'm trying to look over here and do the this. The first question maybe? Or you want to... Yeah, uh, yeah, I was. I <laughs> wanted to... Move the feed, but I gotta figure out how to do this. So, mm. in the meantime, uh, think of think of something you can talk about while I do this. Oh man, you, you're putting <laughs> way too much pressure on me. Then why? <laughs> that, that's the whole point of of holstering. Well, last night, pretty much, baby kept us up all night, so my brain is a little fried today. Especially since I had no coffee, and I might be a bit grumpy too. But Doc already told me that, so yeah, he, he always thinks I'm grumpy. I'm an old man now. So. There you go. There you go. <laughs> okay. 
here now. Oh, he moved share. it. He moved it. Yeah. Who? Oh man, do I have to share it again too? No, no. <laughs> I just I'm trying to remember how Wait. to do this. Because oh, I many items in that drop down. Watch out, man. No, there we go. Now I found it. I was gonna make it a missile now warning I joke, but it. I'm not going to. So you saw the thing about the uh, what was it? The tsunami, tsunami alert or watch yesterday, right? Yes, what happened? Well, oh, what, 11.30 at night, I think it was, it started. And all of a sudden, it turns out nothing happened. I fell asleep, and the watch stopped, and life was good. Thank goodness. <laughs> all right, here we go. Now we're oh, ready. You got it? Yes, yeah. we're doing it. Now we're back in action in full <laughs> effect. Hopefully. Okay. Oh, I heard something. Did I do it correctly? I think so. No, I oh, didn't. No. <laughs> oh, come on. Anyway, we're just going to ignore this and <laughs> keep, keep going. Keep on going. Because for whatever reason, I'm having... Um, I guess the word is like a... Tech troubles? You tech should, troubles. You should ask us. Oh, no, <laughs> oh, God. It's just, it's kind of funny when uh, when a plan goes together as <laughs> as you're attempting to Then you shoot from the hip and this. just go through <laughs> and power through. Oh, I think you got it this time. Okay. No, no, because no. it's supposed to be there. Oh, but it's going to the... Ah, oh, now I got it. I oh. figured it out. <laughs> I figured it. it out. Oh, God. We got it. Hey, look at that. We're, we're solving issues on air. Isn't this amazing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, anyway, no. so the point is, I, we did get a question. And our first question. We got a bunch of questions, I think. From... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, well, the funny thing is, the first person asked a question asked us like three questions. So I'm going to make sure that we share them all. So um, let me finish typing this message real quick. The exciting click of the keyboard. That's the best filler. More exciting than my voice, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> hey, the reason why we're doing this is so we can iron out these, these kinks. Yay. All right. Here we go. Now we got it. Oh. Now we got it. Now we are real. Yes. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so as we were saying, what's going to happen is you'll be able to send in your questions and we'll be able to answer them or attempt to answer them or parlay we'll the answer parlay for them for a week <laughs> until we can find something. Okay? That sounds good to me. All right. Uh, one thing, whenever you're streaming... And you're Do on a Mac. not disturb. Press option <laughs> click on notifications to make the sound go away. Now, the first first question. <laughs> All right. And go. Somewhere. Uh, oh, well, that's fancy. So the first question is from Jesse, and it says, What was the last piece of tech that blew your mind? Hmm. That's a good question, oh, Jesse. That was the last time... <laughs> Am I becoming jaded? Oh, no. No, no, don't be jaded. Come on. Yeah. You got to have something. Mm, what was actually really I mean, because cool. you, send, you send us links all day long of cool stuff you run into. So what is it? cool. Oh, man. You know what? Actually, I'm going to fly my Apple fanboy colors, but Animoji, well, while we were waiting in line to pick up the phone with uh, my buddy from, I guess I made a new friend from Germany and, uh, and from the UK, but Animoji was, they were fun if you have messed around with it. So you need an iPhone 10. Uh, you need Face ID. What was it, was it? What was the camera called? I totally forgot. Uh, FaceTime camera. Is this FaceTime camera? Huh? Yeah. The one in the front. front. Yeah. yeah. So yes. we're just messing around with that, which is kind of cool how it worked. And as soon as I got my phone, I sent a bunch to my wife, and she just shook her head. Um, and then I actually shared it with my daughter, and she loved it. She's eight months old, and she's having a blast with them. She, you know, she could see she was trying to talk, and she could see her face move. It was just amazing. True. That was it was fun. <laughs> All right, so. Honestly, this is going to be super funny, and there's uh, no plug intended whatsoever. So we are currently streaming using an application called uh, OBS, and it's a, it's like an open source broadcasting software. Mm -hmm. And I guess coming from my days of working in, in video production and whatnot, to know that we're able to do what we're doing right now off of a piece of software with the price tag that's absolutely unbelievable. The best. It's a donut. It costs the same as bad advice from a brother-in-law. <laughs> uh, and we're able to stream this live if we want to. We'd actually, technically, we could stream to um, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and our own private servers all at the same time. Jeez. This is relatively incredible stuff. So I'm going to have to give it up for OBS because it's allowing us to do what we're doing right now and it's an open source software. So 
one one day we'll make it a point to get into open source and why it's cool. But yeah, that's my. How difficult was it to set up? I'm just curious, just for my own. Um, for me, nothing. nothing. Topher, press this. Hey, Topher, <laughs> press that. Oh uh, <laughs> hey, yeah, Topher, press Topher this. do it. Oh so, yeah, that makes sense. Topher, <laughs> Topher did the majority of the research and the work and the craziness to get okay. it set up, and then I figured out a couple of things. But primarily, our producer Topher did all the hard work wow. there. So mad shots to Topher eight oh eight. I thought this came with the Elgato adapter. That's why originally. No. Wow. And but I'll bring that up. And my pick then, because you oh, just brought it up. That's it. good. That's <laughs> a good one. That's pretty good. So, next question. The next question comes from another guy named Jesse. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> what is the funniest, strangest, most useful app mm. installed on your phone right now? I actually got to look at that one and figure it out. Mm. Hmm. I had one, but I think when I got my new phone, I may have taken it off. And then I won't remember the name of it, which is going to drive me insane. I have one page full of crypto stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to look it up real quick. I know what it is. So mine is an app that allows you... Oh, you might have downloaded it when I was which messing one? with you. It's an app that allows you to make your own sort of emoji. Oh! Oh, oh my wife your, loves that from thing. your picture. Do oh, you have yeah. it on your phone? Stickies, right? From my call? Yeah, yeah, something see. like that. Uh, I'm gonna may... go dig it. Sticky. It was sticky. Just sticky by is itself. It, is it called sticky? Yeah, there we go. All right, there you go. But I the thing is it's it's not optimized to work under iPhone ten from the looks of it. Because it looks like the uh swiping up where it takes you back to the uh home screen, it actually is on top of the little drawer that comes up to actually show you your stickers. <laughs> Oh, I got it. So it's kind of a... It's called Sticky I, AI. That's the Sticky name Sticky AI, yeah. So, Jesse, my answer to your question is an app called Sticky AI, and we will put links in the show notes. Um, as a matter of fact, I'll pop it into the, the face space chat. But um, basically what it allows you to do is you take pictures of yourself, and then you can use it in the uh, keyboard <laughs> interface to uh, reply to your friends in their text messages, it's pretty crazy. I pretty much, again, my daughter. I took a whole bunch. We took a whole bunch of pictures of her, and we're just slamming at everything. So it kind of covers up all the discussions now with my wife. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it works so well. It's pretty funny. So you <laughs> you have like these sort of uh, emojis for your stuff that make sense to you and your family. You know what I mean? So I guess that's kind of a cool. It's kind of fun just being able to make your own. And it's smart enough to actually, you take a picture, does it automatically um, crop it also from where I call? Yes. So it, it's it's pretty high tech. I'm actually amazed. Sounds like they're doing it server side, aren't they? From the sounds of it. Let's not get inside baseball. Sorry, sorry. Inside baseball. Because then you're yeah. going to scare people. Yeah. <laughs> like, if, if my mom was watching right now, she'd be like, like server side? No, I'm right. What the heck is that? <laughs> See? It's hard when you get two nerds in a room because we can get nerd real quick. Oh, yeah. So Go down that rabbit hole. Our, our job is or to rabble. keep you outside <laughs> of the rabbit hole. Hey, I'm sending a shout out to Pablo Sato, my homie, my old radio buddy, who's uh, watching us. Hi, Pablo. Anyway, so on to the... You didn't answer the question. No. It's my... What is your funniest, strangest, most useful app? So one um, that was actually shown to me by my friend Patrice, it's called True Caller. So most... Um, Actual cell phone carriers now, they let you know if someone's calling you and it's a spam call. We've been we've had a bunch of these on island so far. I, I don't know if you've been getting a bunch of those 808 calls where it's just spam. Someone said, called my wife yesterday and said, I'm the police, the American police, nonetheless. And tried to, I was like, what kind of crap What is the heck this? kind of question is, yeah. I'm the American police? Well, yeah, the, the statement was great. She just hung up. And I was like, oh, you should left it on. I wanted to talk to this person. Oh, yeah. See, me, fun. I like to talk to them. I like <laughs> Just make the, it fun. So the lady from the... um. Uh, I, I, I briefly was interviewed by Ben Gutierrez from uh, Hawaii News Now, and he asked me, you know, similar questions. And we were on the uh, at the time it was the uh, auto insurance guys were calling everyone right oh, to yeah. extend your warranty kind of cats. Uh, so he came to my office and he interviewed me and I told him I got the lady on the phone. And what I like to do is tell them that. Initially, if they don't stop calling me, I'm going to send them a bill because I'm a consultant and I, I charge hourly. Wasting my time. Um, but then the other thing I do is I get on and I start asking them a lot of questions. I make them spend time. And as I get to the end, when they ask me, oh, well, what uh, can you tell me to make a model of your car? I go, you called me to extend my warranty. You don't know to make a model of my car? 
And they're like, oh, we just need to verify it. And I go, yeah, I think you're lying. And they go, what do you mean? I go, like, I have a 2017 BMW, so my warranty can't possibly be out because my car came with a seven-year warranty. Yep. So where you at? And then they get mad. And so. then they hang up, right? Yeah. But what this app does, though, um, it pretty much puts a little overlay. So when someone calls you, it either tags it as spam. It says who's actually calling you. And it continuously updates their database. So every day, I usually I can download it. Uh, um, pretty much a new list of phone numbers that have been blacklisted or that are considered spam. And it's a little more in-depth than, like, for example, I have T-Mobile than the one that's built into T-Mobile, and it's free. The paid stuff, I think it lets you look up phone numbers. So if you, like, want to know where that phone number came from, you can actually look it up, which you can just do in a Google search if you need to. That's cool. It's free. That's the best thing. I could appreciate <laughs> that. Free 95. And uh, what do you know what the premium is like? I don't. Because right. I was never, I was actually not going to use it. Not that impressed <laughs> with the premium, or you don't. No, I don't need it. Then. All right, cool. So, all right, cool. So let's go on to our next next question. If you are joining us late, uh, Matt, how you doing? If you're joining us late, you're watching the Untitled Tech Show. Uh, one day we'll have a title. We'll probably leave it up to you guys. Yeah, if you <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, so the Untitled Tech Show. This is episode two. We are answering people's questions. So here we go. Let's go. Um, the next question. Our next question comes from wow, another guy, <laughs> uh, another guy named Jesse. I wonder if they're all the same Jesse. Hmm. <laughs> all right, this is a great question. In the debate, once and for all, closing apps on your iPhone, yes or no, and why? And the answer is it depends. <laughs> BS. The answer is no. So. The answer is one hundred percent no. Apple stated so themselves. There's certain times when the app misbehaves, though, and closing it out. Helps. That's a different story. That's not what we're talking about. No, it's just closing apps on your iPhone. I I'm know. Gonna play I, semantics. No, because I know. I know what he was getting at I know. because I know Jesse. So people think that closing the unused or unopened apps on your phone somehow is going to save your battery life or make your phone perform faster, and that's not the case. It doesn't work that way. Nope. As a matter of fact, opening and closing them would actually take longer. Use up more of your data because a lot of apps have to call in, they set up on the way in, yep. and uh, help drain your battery because initial opening requires some, again, callbacks to home servers, identification, uh, verifying your, you know, your smart enclave or whatever, secure enclave. So that takes more time. So basically what happens when an app is dormant and it goes to sleep, it's straight up sleep. If you want any proof that it doesn't happen any faster, Leave your phone as it is. Turn it completely off. Turn it back on. Double tap the home button or swipe to the left to show the apps that are quote unquote running in the background and they're still in the background from a cold, dead boot. Right? And why is that? <laughs> because it's the way that the iPhone manages memory and stuff like that. Like, when it's in the background, unless it's doing something like a background process, like, for instance, in YouTube now or in podcasting apps or music apps, you can play something and then go to another app and it won't stop. Actually, it's like a, we can use a car analogy for this. Like a lot of new cars, when you go come to a stoplight, engine turns off. Kind of yes. similar to that. So conserve energy, sit back. If it's not doing something, turn it off. Yes. And then when it needs it, brings it right back up. So... Other than the app misbehaving, which Jerome alluded to, <laughs> if an app is misbehaving or crashed or whatever, yeah, in that case, you can force quit it. But force quitting it unnecessarily is not doing anything for you other than wasting your time. Yep. So I stop agree with it. that. Just stop <laughs> it. Once and for all, stop it. Cut it out. Don't let anybody talk you into it. Don't let anybody tell you that, oh, this works. Tell them, Doc said, and I wear a cool hat with a shotgun on the top. I didn't bring my hat. <laughs> See? That was a great question, Jess, because I swear it comes up religiously. Uh, I get it at work actually a lot. I feel like, oh, what if I close it? <laughs> All right, so here we go. We got another question. This is so much fun. That... <laughs> okay, here's another question, and it's kind of funny, but I'll put it in anyway. So it says, here's a question from somebody not named Jesse. This is from Fred. What's up, Fred? <laughs> Said, I think there's a lot of people still wondering about their iPhone 6 and 6 Pluses. I, I, was, I was about to read it wrong. <laughs> I was going to say 6 Plus. I, I was reading it like Trump. Oh, are, no. are going slow. 
maybe you guys can touch up on that and about the battery placement and they discounted at the Apple Store for twenty nine bucks. I got an answer for you, Fred. Watch episode one, damn it. Ah, <laughs> uh, we can't. I posted it today, but just to reiterate, it will your phone will behave better yeah. if you upgrade the battery. I mean, we say TLDR, which is nerve for speak for too long didn't read. So if you don't want to watch the whole. I guess it was like 17 minutes of the first episode, which I would highly recommend you watch because it's, it's only stuff. 17 minutes, but it takes me like seven hours to edit it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it would have been faster if I wasn't drunk, but that's a different story. It makes uh, it more enjoyable. Definitely, though, upgra- upgrading the battery will enhance your performance. It is what it is. What I would like people to stop thinking, and I'm going to... Just temporarily, let's remove Apple out of the picture. Let's put any company in the way. For the most part, companies are not going out of their way <laughs> to make the phones obsolete. plan obsolete anything, right? Be it computers, phones, cars, whatever. It would take an entire division of people and a lot more money than they make just doing what they do to plan obsolescence and plan all the things that you think are effing you. <laughs> like... It's just next to impossible. And even for when most people think that somebody is just out to F with them, it takes a lot of energy for somebody to go out of their way to F with you. So at that point, you're just being arrogant. And it's going to sound mean, but most people, they don't care. They don't care. (laughs) Exactly. So no one's out to F you. No. Um, there and again we touched on it briefly and I'll, I'll let you go back to that to see the whole thing they did a, they had a reason why they slowed it down in order to try to make the operating system seem a little better yeah. and they admitted that they should have handled it differently uh we've all done that we've done something we were in thought we were in the right we thought we were doing the right thing we did it wrong and you gotta apologize it's just a communication thing it's just a communication yeah. thing it's, it's basically a lack of communication but truth be told if you do go upgrade your phone it will feel faster. It will normally work better. And if it's not, you can go back to visit them because now you're in the 90-day warranty that comes really with this. Up, yeah. And then you can get things ironed out. So it's probably worth the 30 bucks. Me personally, unless you have to, I don't see holding the phone for more than two years. Yeah. I just I, That's not what phones are designed for. So it's not like the old days where you get it for four years. Some people say, well, I don't need this and I don't need that. Cool, I understand that. Then if you don't need those things, then maybe, I can't believe I'm going to say this, maybe if you're not the person to change the phone every two years, maybe don't buy an iPhone. You know, if you want to buy, I mean, if you want to make it last or you want to be cheap about it, then just buy a $99 Android or something because maybe iPhone is not for you. Like, it's it's right. kind of like owning a performance car and not wanting to buy high test gas and, syn- <laughs> and synthetic oil. Oh, I've seen that where people put in low, uh, not premium gas, and then it, the engine, that doesn't it, match. It's not like a- if you're gonna <laughs> buy a, pre- a premium car, you're gonna buy a fast car. You got to spend the right money on oil, right money on tires, and right money on gas. It's the same kind of concept. Like honestly, like we say, well, I can make this phone. I, I, I literally people still sitting on fives. Yeah, and I'm like, I've seen four uh, stuff. Uh, I was like, oh. Bruh, maybe you should have never had an iPhone. <laughs> I've seen people use like old technology for their business, and that's just you're losing money. <laughs> yeah, that's no discussion for a future episode. That'll be a big <laughs> one. Like, make it, sitting there a long time and using your old tech. No, the best thing is you only have one computer, and they come in. You need to repair this now. My multi million dollar business. Ah, oh, if you don't fix it now, my business is. I'm gonna sue you. And oh, jeez. I like when people want to sue me, because. They, they're gonna go home just as broke as I started today. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that 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 kind of uh, sort of wrapping up episode two. I want to say one more thing though about the battery replacement thing. I mentioned in the last episode too. Yeah. But when you do go in there, uh, treat the employees with respect. Don't just go in there with a chip on your shoulder. It's not their fault. Um, just be nice. No reason to get angry about it. If you get angry, you can always write mail to well apple's feedback page just don't get angry at them they can't really do anything about it <laughs> or make your battery show faster or get it replaced quicker you know normally what causes the anger and having done tech support for a long time even standing next to tech support people that would do it would drive me crazy if you don't know just say you don't know 
or say I'll go get the answer, I'll go find out, and I'll come back. Don't come over. But to just like make up some random shite. Don't do that. That's not cool. I've seen that too. And in the same token, if you already know the answer, don't go in there testing that person. That person's at work. You know, don't go in there. Like I, people used to come to us when we worked at the fruit farm and try to ask us questions that they knew the answer to yeah. to see if we knew the answer. Like they were testing us out. We got tested out before we got hired. Like you're just wasting time at that point. I love talking story, but we got yeah. a short time period. We got to help out people. Yeah. And it's just if we're not helping anyone, gladly will. So basically, hold on. Let's see. Charlie, Charlie got a feedback. Oh, I haven't seen him for a while. <laughs> What's up, Chuck? Actually, I saw him yesterday. What am I talking about? I lied. <laughs> he was down at Moku. <laughs> uh, so Chuck is just verifying in the comment that he did upgrade his phone and it was definitely worth it. I can't believe he's the kind of guy that holds old phone. I thought you were cooler than that, Chuck. <sighs> <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Don't send me any uh, hateful music. Oh, yeah, I've seen like early versions of... He also mentions like about iOS... Like, the first version, like, the newest version that comes out, it usually takes one or two new versions to come out or updates before it functions 100% nicely. I've seen issues. I don't know if you have, but... Oh, no, that's automatic. All software is buggy. That's Sometimes automatic. I mean, so, the... He was talking about battery upgrade, but in an iOS in upgrade the, or any system upgrade, when you first upgrade it, it'll take a couple of days to level off because all the apps have to catch up to the update. And a lot of companies are prepared because they're big, large companies. They're ready. Your smaller apps that are made by, you know, one and two people mm -hmm. shop developers, it normally takes them some time to get the upgrades out. So you yeah. just have to be sort of patient. patient. Hey, sis. I see uh, my sister Karenito joined. Keto! Love you. All right, so this has been Untitled Tech Show, and again, uh, this is another one of our testing versions. We're getting the kinks made, you know, mapped out. If you guys got any brilliant titles for us, other than Untitled Tech Show, I think it's kind of funny, but <laughs> but that's a one. It's a long title. Two, it's a little bit cheesy. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I think someone else is using Untitled, so we're gonna we're get in trouble. Man, nobody can use Untitled. Wait. Hey, is it Fred Savage, the gentleman from MythBusters? Adam Savage? Adam Sa oh, my God. Did I say Fred? I'm like, Fred, Fred. Savage. No, that's because I saw Fred. The, the name was right in front of me. That was that was no, my bad. Oh, my okay, God. Okay, well, that Fred <laughs> is a savage, but that's my homie. <laughs> that's a different story. But but they have an untitled podcast also. Yeah, and uh, when I'm thinking Fred Savage, I can't help get the Wonder Years out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I love that show when I was young. Holy crap. <laughs> Jerome just took the car and, and did an abrupt right into the <laughs> abrupt left with no signal. <laughs> so like normal day driving. Yes, <laughs> yes. That was just a random. Please, please, people, do us a favor. Fill your blinker fluid. <laughs> All right. Anyway, now I can't stop laughing. Okay, I'm, I'm, composure. Serious composure. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. There you go. Charlie, that's funny. 404 to the 808. Title not found. <laughs> I like that. That's, that's hilarious. Really anyway, the Untitled Tech Show, episode two. I'm Doc. I'm Jerome. Where can I we totally forgot my name. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm like, kidding. bro, like, <laughs> what? Tover, was he drinking before we started? Oh, okay. Where, where, where can we find you? If we need to find you, if somebody's looking for you. Best place, drumcoller.com. We can put it in the notes and also ifixpro.com. All right, I. You're everywhere. Am, I'm, I am all <laughs> over the place. You can find me on the Solid Podcast and Solid FM. You can find me on the British Tech Network. I, all over the Twitter, the Space Space, the Instagram, the MySpace, wherever you want. Uh, Friendster, Asian Avenue. Friendster, MySpace. <laughs> all of the old Rabbit. school joints. Oh. It's always Doc Rock. You can find me anywhere. Uh, post Office Number Seven. <laughs> America's Most Wanted. <sighs> anyway, this has been the Untitled Tech Show. Don't forget, if you want to get your questions asked, if you want to be like Jesse, 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 and Fred, <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a new law firm. Yeah. The new law firm of Jesse, <laughs> Jesse, Jesse, and Fred, attorneys at law. If you want to be featured or you have a question or something that's driving you absolutely insane, contact us through the, our regular channels until we get the page set up. <sighs> but I uh, ask your question, and I would normally... The day before and the day of remind you that we got another one 
pop in. We will attempt to get a regular schedule, but that'll probably happen once Sophia goes to elementary school. How many months is she now? Eight months. Eight months. Holy so crap. Saw, it's almost been a year. It Time's moving by quick. I can't believe Yo. it. <laughs> She's eight months, so... She'll be on the podcast soon. The, the hey, schedule <laughs> is whenever she go to sleep and Jerome finishes drinking. <laughs> we can drink during the podcast. That's easy. Oh, most definitely. <laughs> Absolutely. Maybe we're going to have to do a live show so that everybody can come and get drunk. I think drunk. we got to bring the sake bottles back. Remember? All right. That was fun. That I can, <laughs> that I can do. Uh, I would say, oh, Chris... Hi, Chris. Chris, you joined and we're just about to sign off. I just wanted to say hi. Anyway, the non-live version of this will be posted as soon as I have a chance to edit it, you know, get it sort of tight. Um, I, li I like the live format plus ability to watch it later yeah. for someone who may have missed it, you know, because they'll be able to read the questions and then sort of go from there. And some people got stuff to do. I yeah, a lot of people got stuff to do. I got stuff to do. Like, go eat right now. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, we will get all of this stuff ironed out. We'll make it a lot smoother. But for a second crack, we got two. We got two in a bunch. Yeah. All right. Aloha. Woo